Okay, look at you pulling in the trash. Good job, Conrad. Woo, one-handed. This one's called the trip. Hey everybody, I'm Mama Baird and welcome back to the channel. Today I have another what I feed my children. One of the toughest questions as a mom is what do I feed the kids? They get bored very quickly, you gotta keep things fresh and stuff and I like to get my kids in the kitchen helping me a lot and that helps them cook more. So I got a breakfast, a couple lunches, and a dessert for you, all kid friendly. Hi, if you're new here, I'm Carolina and I live in Montana. I do a lot of food bank hauls, pantry cooking, and canning and preserving on my channel. If that's the kind of content you're into, I hope you'd consider subscribing. I would love to have you as a part of my family. All right, let's get into this kid lunches and you can see what I feed the little munchkins. Morning, everybody. So today for breakfast, I'm just gonna be making a simple apple cinnamon oatmeal. I make mine on the stove. I used to just do the instant packets or boil it in the microwave in a bowl and <laughs> husband was not a fan. He's like, I don't like my oatmeal like this. You gotta do it on the stove. But I've always scorched my milk when I've done it on the stove. So I never enjoy doing it because I hate cleaning the pan. Ha! But I've gotten better at it. And I'm gonna teach you how to make super delicious cooked oatmeal on your stove. So let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do is just slice up one apple. If your apple peels are messed up, then you can peel it, but this one doesn't look too bad. So I'm gonna keep the peel on. Let's cut right along that core. And then if you get part of like the core or the seeds in there, you can kind of just make like a little triangle like that and scoop it out. But that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna cut it in half and then in half again, just to kind of make bite-sized pieces. But this is just for the family. It doesn't have to be fancy or perfect. Like don't put pressure on yourself, guys, too much to make things beautiful or even. I mean, especially if it's just for you. It's more important you learn how to do it first and then work on the technique, you know? Like this one's a little bigger than this one. Ah, I'm fired, you know? <laughs> Don't worry about it. I mean, if you do worry about that stuff, then just keep practicing until you have perfect knife cuts. All right, I'm going to start my skillet with just a little bit of butter in there. Add it on a medium heat, like a six. Go ahead and add the apples. Got a little bit of homemade brown sugar left. I'll put the last of it in there and cook that with it. And a little bit of cinnamon. Yep. Okay. Right, so these apples are looking good. I also sprinkled a little bit of salt on them just to counteract some of that sweetness. So I'm gonna add some oatmeal. These are the quick rolled oats. These are the ones I get from the food bank. I'm just gonna add, I don't know, like two and a half cups. I just kind of eyeball it. I like to use the shelf stapled milk here. I have also canned some milk. I can link that video below if you're interested in learning how to pressure pan and preserve some milk. I just kind of add it. Don't use a measure too much. You just want there to be a nice layer of liquid in there because those oats are going to absorb it. You can always add some more as you go. Let's see like how this is kind of oats are overflowing and there's just a little bit. I'm going to add just a splash more. And then as it cooks, see if I need to add any more or not. I'm also going to add a little more sugar because we seasoned the apples. Now we have to season the oatmeal. So I'm going to add some more clumps of brown sugar. 
some more cinnamon, and then just a shot of vanilla. It's cooking along nicely. Just want to keep stirring it. You don't want your heat too high or else you will scorch it and then you'll have to clean that pan. Like I said, that's what's kept me from doing it on the stove for so long. Oh, sorry, chick fight going on over there. Right. So it's starting to thicken up. You can see the bubbles. You can tell by how long it takes for the bubble to pop. That's how thick the liquid is. But the oats to me still look like they're crunchy. So I'm going to add a smidgen more milk. Just to make sure there's plenty of liquid for those oats to absorb. And not going to make a super thick oatmeal. So I'm going to let that cook for a couple minutes. Alright, so you can see like the oats have kind of swelled some. So those look pretty good and they're going to absorb the rest of this liquid. So I'm going to turn this off and at this point I like to add another glob of butter just because butter makes everything better and it'll help melt on top of it and give it a nice buttery flavor. So I just kind of leave it there, spin it around. And there you, you got apple cinnamon oatmeal for breakfast. Made from everyday ingredients in your pantry. Check. All right, let's move on to the next one. Okay, for today's lunch, here are my ingredients. I'm gonna be using these plain bagels I got. My friend gave me this braided string cheese because it has a Best Buy date of August 12th, but, or that's September, sorry. Best Buy date by September 12th, but that's okay. I still think this looks great. It's really vacuum sealed, so she knows that I don't mind Best Buy dates. See, it even says Best Buy, so that doesn't mean that's expired. It's like, that's when the best flavor is by. Like, it's taste Best Buy this, but it doesn't mean that it's bad. So we're gonna use this. I have some of this marinara sauce. It's really good. Pepperonis, and I'm still working on that Asiago cheese, but we're getting through it. So let's get to assembling. I'm gonna put it on a pizza stone here. I have my oven set at 425. No, just 400. All right, I ended up with a helper. Hi. Hi, what's your name? Dee Dee. Dee Dee. How old are you? Five. Five. Good job, buddy. All right, so we're gonna open these up. No, so when I'm so when I'm six, I, I can go hunting with that when I'm six. That's right. When you're six, you get to go hunting. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm, okay. Oh, uh, why do we need these? This is what, these are the bagels that we're going to put the pizza on. So let's do six. That's a lot, but you guys might, you guys might eat it all. All right, we have this here. Tomato sauce. Tomato sauce. You like tomato sauce? Yeah. yeah. I also like pepperoni. You love got, pepperoni. I got pepperoni here. That's why that bag's open, because you had to eat some, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> all right. So, Mommy, can I put one of the bagels close to the camera? Sure, how about this one? That's a good one. Uh, so those are our bagels. <laughs> and we're going to put a little bit of this sauce on there. Sauce? And then we're going to try this cheese. So, Mama, all the time I saw Baby John put make a pizza and he went to spread it on the pizza. Oh, that's a good idea. And that's what we're doing. Yep, we're going to spread it on the pizza. What is that? This is mozzarella cheese. Mozzarella. <coughs> you cover your mouth. Mozzarella. <coughs> Good job, buddy. I keep coughing. Yeah, he's got a bit of a cough. I don't know what that's all about. Can I smell it? Sure. <coughs> smells fine. See, look, and then you take it and... Yeah. It's supposed to be like braided cheese. Yeah, I don't like it more. Well, this is what's going on our pizza. See, look, you can separate it. Kind of just looks like a twist donut. A twist donut. Yeah. yeah, see? That's pretty cool. 
And then it makes like Mama, a little string, so we'll give that a try. Are we gonna use this cutterboard? We are not. All right. I'm gonna use that. You are in charge of putting pepperonis on. Well, yeah. after I put the sauce on, okay? Okay. All right, so Mama's putting on sauce. Mama, is this what it's going to look like? Yeah, except ours is going to be on a bagel instead of a big slice of pizza. Yeah. That's pretty cool, right? Yeah. Don't get too close in front of the camera, buddy. Why? Because right now they're here to watch us make lunch. They're not here to watch how many boogers you got in your nose. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, so you can start putting pepperoni on here, Giddy. Giddy. <laughs> I don't have any boogers. <laughs> I was just playing. All right, here, you put the pepperoni on here, okay? Okay. Yeah. I like pepperoni. Do you like pepperoni? I, I pressed it. Okay. I like pressing cameras. You do? You know you like being in front of the camera? Uh-huh, because, because I like them. You like them? I yeah. like your hands. Oh, that's perfect, Gideon. How many pepperonis did fit on that bagel? One, two, three, four. Four. Good job. Let me put like one more on. One and more. One, two, three, four, five. Is that better? Five. Yeah, five. How about because you're five years old? Yeah. There's gotta be five pepperoni on each one. I like it. All right, you do that. I'm gonna come do the cheese. I like working with you, Gideon. You're a good, you're a good helper. Yeah, I am a good helper. Mm -hmm. The metal. Remember when we were in Missouri? Remember that I helped Dad work at his red sock? Yeah. Remember that? He said you were such a big helper. And, and and you were in Applebee's. And I worked at Applebee's. You remember that? Yeah, I remember that. You got a good memory. I got a good memory. Yeah. Can you see them through my ear? Oh, yep, I see that memory through your ear. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this one's missing a couple. How many more do you have to add on to this bagel? So there's five. Five. Well, you want five on there, so how many more do you need to add? Four. Good job, Giddy. That was great math. So, Mama. Yeah. Snake starts with S. You're right. <coughs> Come here, Mom. I'm doing three. No, I don't do at least four. Put on there. There we go. Mozzarella cheese. Mozzarella cheese. Mm. Hey, no licking your fingers. Hey, I like to lick them when I get sauce on them. That's not sanitaire. Do you know other people are going to eat this, Giddy? <laughs> what do you mean? I'm just playing. All right, let's see. This is How many is this missing? Four. It's got how many on there? Three. Three. So let's do how many more? Three. Four, five. Two more. Two more, which is five. Yeah, which is five. And then you have slack in here too. Who put you in charge of counting? I'm uh, calling the Betty, cause, Steven. cause go waiting for the pizza. Yeah. That's why day. So I have one, two, three, four. Four well, on that? Yeah. Wait, to be wait, five. You better count that again. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, there we go. All right, so how many more do you need on these ones? Five. Well, that's, that's how many total you need. How many more do you need to add? Four. No, count. How many do you have on there? Three. One, two, three. Okay, so how many more do you need to add so you would have five? Two. Good job. Because three plus two equals five. Five. Okay. Is that all we got? Alright, then we'll put it in the oven. This is going to be a tasty lunch, guys. Alright, so this is going in our 400 degree oven. Alright, the pizza is done. This was in at 400 for 7 minutes. And I would say that's pretty perfect. It's not overly crunchy. It's all melty. And then they're getting some homemade pear sauce. No, it's and not what I think it is. That's cheese. Oh. And that's what's for lunch. <laughs> for today's lunch, I'm just going to be using up a good old can of pork and beans. And I'm going to try to make this one can stretch for the three kids. 
So I got this big pack of hot dogs that I'm going to open up and see what I can make out of. So I'm going to try and use one hot dog for this meal and stretch that for a kid because those are pretty big. For sides, I got some home canned fruit cocktail. This is just pears and nectarines. And then some pickled carrots from our garden last year. So that's for lunch. I am open to any and all ideas for how else I could use these huge hot dogs. These are awesome. All right, so I'm going to cut lengthwise. I'm gonna have my heat at like a six. I had it hotter just to, I had to get that water off my pan. a little char on these hot dogs nothing too fancy can open okay. and we got some nice char on our hot dog here so I'm gonna add this can and this is just beans and tomato sauce so it's nothing nothing crazy That's kind of like, you know, beans and weenies, weenie and beans. My kids enjoy it. My kids like beans. Haven't made this for them in a while. I'm going to try it, just see if I need it, if it needs anything. Nope, it's good to me. I'm going to eat that straight from the can. So that doesn't take long. It heated up pretty fast because that pan was hot. So that's done. Let's open our jars. And this is just in a simple syrup. Oh, it's good. It's in a little bit of a vanilla syrup. And then this is pickled carrots. I think this is our bread and butter brine. Oh, yeah. And that's what's for lunch. If your kids don't eat much beans, now's a good time to start getting them used to it because they're cheap, have lots of protein, and very filling. I yeah, lost my footage on this one, but I was just toasting up some cinnamon toast bread, and then this is peanut butter, banana, and honey filling that I'm putting inside. All right, so putting the bread on, and then I'm going to spread some of this filling. Some of the filling. We have a little room on the ends because it will spread out. Here's how much filling I have left. So I probably had enough for one more. If one of them gets hungry and wants a second one, I can make one more. Peanut butter, honey, banana, apple sandwich. Yum. All right, so we are going to be making some dessert. And I have these pie shells that are cracked. They are um, cracked right here. And they kind of uh, Yeah, this one's super cracked. Oh my gosh! You didn't even see that one yet. No. So what we're gonna do is, crack. have, is this cracked. 
We have a muffin tin here, a big one, because it's from Texas. Can you say Texas? Texas. 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 So we're going to try and make like little mini pies. I have some strawberry rhubarb pie filling I need to use up, and then I have another one, my last one from last year. And then I have some of this lemon curd. I thought it would be fun to maybe make some lemon pies. Hey, Jan, you like lemon, right? Yep. I mean, no, because it's so sour. But you like, like, lemon yogurt. Yeah, that's kind of like this. It's sweet lemon. Really? Yep. All right, so uh, let's get you in close, and we'll show you what we're doing. So what I'm thinking is that we'll take this, kind of flip over the dry edge. Can I try? And, yeah, and just make, like, a little crust. Mm -hmm. Ah, squeak it, squeak it, squeak it. Is that okay if it breaks? Yeah, that's fine. Like that, yeah, I don't know if it's gonna work. It's worth a try. And my mom accidentally put glue in my hair. <laughs> it was an accident. What? <laughs> I don't know ah. how well this is gonna work, <laughs> but that's okay. We'll just kind of mash it together. Whoa, where have I got this piece? Whoa, that's a big one. All right, you starting a new one? Yeah. Not yet, I still need to get the top. Okay, good one too. Ah, hey! That's Let's, a big one. Yeah, let me save this part for the first. Yeah, okay, okay. I need something. Okay. Okay, okay, Ma, I got it. Yeah, bye bye. Try a bite. A little bit sour. Do you like it though? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's the sour face. <laughs> Wait, are you going to do like each wafer and each pie? Well, this is enough for like two. And then we got to, you want to do a top too? Top? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I thought, I thought the like extra flavor. Extra flavor? On the top. Oh yeah. No, no, I just meant like a crust. And I'm done with this one? Yeah. And them? Yeah, that looks good. You don't really have anything to hold it. Alright, so we're going to spread some of this on top. Yep, and even put it over these ones, and then we'll put cinnamon sugar on those ones. Good job. And then you get every single piece of dough you want that on there. Even these ones? Yep, even those ones. Okay. Don't know if that one and that one. Okay, can you get this one a little more? Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah, you think I touched it. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Right, Why does right that have to stay there? Because if it's too thick, then I won't cook all the way, and then some of the dough might be raw. Oh. I need to get that one. Sorry. It's falling. It's okay. Just be very gentle. Yeah. Okay. Good job. Ah! We put some topping and topping and topping on this one. Well, I put sugar on there. All right, let's get it in the oven. Okay. That's I'll do that for seven minutes and check it. Let's go. Get up. Oh, look at that. Watch. That's like a little mini pie. Mini pie of crust. But I want that one. Well, there's this one. Is it hot? No, it's not so hot anymore. That like, turned out pretty good. And then this little one. Here, too. And then we'll see on the other parts. I know this one wasn't quite done. 
I'm gonna put these back in just for a smidgen. And there we have it. That last pie probably cooked for maybe about five more minutes and then I took them out. Um, you know, we were done for the night so I didn't finish filming that. But yeah, those are just a couple of the different things that I make. Like I said, I like to get my kids in the kitchen helping me a lot. I think that's really good for them to get used to the ingredients, to be able to help, you know, it makes them feel proud to be like, hey, I made those pizza bagels for lunch today. You know, and that's what you're all trying to do is just to boost up your kids' self-esteem and get them used to getting in the kitchen. Get them in the kitchen, pretty soon they'll be able to make their own lunch. I'll be like, go make your own pizza bagel. If you have any trouble coming up with ideas on what to make for your kids' lunches, I have a Facebook group. I can link it below. We do a lot of recipe posts posting on there and just overall support. It's a great community we got going on over there. So go ahead and join my Facebook group if you're looking for some new ideas. If you want, if you don't know what something is, take a picture, post it. We'll give you a couple ideas on what you can do with that item. Thank you so much for watching guys. I'll catch you next time on Mama Bairds.